I've seen Across the Spider-Verse twice. I am newly engaged and I've been on strike at Insider for 12 days now. Hello everybody, I have so much to tell you and a lot of new makeup to test out, so let's get into it. If you're new here, my name is Nico. I love everything TV, movies, makeup, and The Sims, so please subscribe if you'd like to stick around. I would really love that. I have quite a few red items to test out today. We have a little bit of a theme going on in support of the Insider Union, so I guess I should start there. Let's do some skin prep first. I have absolutely nothing on my face right now. We're gonna start with the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Triple Bounce Serum. It's supposed to give you a hydrated, plump, smooth, and bouncy complexion. Ooh. So, right now, the Insider Union is on a ULP strike. That stands for Unfair Labor Practice, which is what Insider Management did when they illegally changed our healthcare without bargaining with the union. So that's left some of us dealing with worse coverage and in some cases, much higher costs. We're still fighting to close the pay equity gap and raise our salary floors. Sorry to cut in, I filmed this on day 12 of our strike and on day 13, we actually won our contract, yay! It was a lot of hard work and stress and emotions, but I could not be prouder of what this union accomplished. Okay, back to the video. I really like that serum. My skin feels really good. It feels nice and hydrated. And I like that it's slightly tacky because that's what I like as a base for my makeup. Next, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Sun Touchable Woe Glow Sunscreen and Primer. I love that this is a two-in-one product. By the way, this was $14. I remember when e.l.f. products were like max $10 and even that was on like the high end for e.l.f. This is crazy. This strike has been one of the most stressful yet wonderful times of my life. I've cried so much, a lot during this time. The sense of community I've been feeling for almost two weeks now has just been unreal. This has not been easy. It's been one of the hardest things I've ever done personally, but we're all there for each other. We're all leaning on each other. We've been supporting each other through this and getting each other through this. And I think we all know at the end of the day, this is only gonna make Insider a better place to work, a better place for everybody working there now. I really like that e.l.f. sunscreen primer situation. It added this very natural looking glow. Like I wanna wear this on no makeup days. Okay, I wanna do a lip balm before I move on. I'm kind of a lip balm freak. I don't know if I've told you guys that already. I have a new one from Pharmacy. This is the Apple Lip Smoothie with vitamin C and peptides. I'll admit it, I only bought this because the name made it sound delectable. Apple Lip Smoothie, it just sounds really delicious to me and I wanna smell it and maybe taste it. It smells amazing. It smells like an apple-y candy, not like green apple Jolly Rancher candy, but red apple candy. Mm, that smells so good. This smells amazing. I don't wanna stop applying it. It feels good, it smells amazing. I love this. Mm. For foundation, I have this Maybelline Superstay 24-hour skin tint with vitamin C. It's supposed to give you buildable light to medium coverage for a skin-like finish. It's supposed to feel weightless and it's sweat resistant, which is an interesting claim for a skin tint. I feel like I don't see that very often. I have to stop being shocked every time I see an expensive drugstore product, but this was $18. Like, don't piss me off, that's crazy. Another way you can help me and my coworkers during this strike is by donating to our hardship fund. We're not getting paid during this strike, which as you can imagine is very stressful and difficult. So this strike fund is to help keep us afloat right now. And any amount helps. Any amount is greatly appreciated no matter how big or how small. Sorry, cutting in one more time, just to say that even though our strike is over and we won our contract, we still need donations to our hardship fund to help some of us make up for the money we lost during the strike. So please, anything you can donate is so helpful and appreciated. Thank you guys. Okay, bye. The link to the fund is in my description box, along with a link to our union website where you can read all about our mission and what we're trying to achieve with this strike. 
And I've also linked to our union Instagram where you can follow along and just see what this whole strike has been like. My friends have taken some incredible photos of us picketing, so please go check those out. Oh my God, I really love that skin tint. It still looks like my skin, just more even. It's a little glowier. I don't have a new concealer to test out, so I'm just gonna go in with my Milk Future Fluid. So the day after the insider strike started, I actually got engaged to my very sweet, very wonderful boyfriend, Dylan. We've been together for seven years, so I feel like it took some time for the engagement to really sink in for me. I want to keep the engagement story private, but I will tell you that Dylan spent months putting together a surprise party for me for after the engagement with some of our friends and our family there. And it was just the sweetest, most wonderful time. I literally could not stop smiling. I normally hate surprises, but celebrating with them really was just the best time. I'm gonna let that concealer sit underneath my eyes for a second and go in with a liquid contour. These are the e.l.f. beauty wands. Yes, the e.l.f. halo glow beauty wands. Whoa! We actually have started wedding planning a little bit, just like looking at venues, trying to come up with a concept for what our wedding would look like. Weirdly, we actually haven't had very many what would our wedding look like conversations before getting engaged, but it's been very fun to figure it out together. We've been mood boarding like crazy, but I can still feel that wedding planning stress slowly seeping its way in. I think we're gonna have our work cut out for us for sure. Please give me any wedding planning advice that you have, any helpful hacks or tips. Let's blend out this concealer. It's been sitting there for a minute. I'm gonna set my under eyes and the rest of my face with my House Lab setting powder. I love this. Not new, but very good. Ooh, also, would you guys be interested in any sort of wedding content? I'm not really sure what that entails, but I could, I could figure it out and I could film it for you. I just powdered my entire face, but I still feel like I can see that glow peeking through. I am loving how all of these things are working together. I'm gonna move on to blush. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Remember that I'm only human, but I did cave and buy the stupid fucking Dior blush. That's very, very small and very expensive. Okay, whether this is good or not, I'm gonna tell you that it's not worth it because it's a 40 something dollar blush that is literally smaller than my palm. But I'm very prone to stress shopping right now. I got it, so let's just test it out. You guys, we have to talk about Across the Spider-Verse. Literally the best Spider-Man movie ever made. And yes, I'll say that with my full chest. This will be a spoiler-free review, so just stay. If you have not seen this movie or the first movie into the Spider-Verse, I want you to pause this video, go watch both of those, then come back to this video and tell me how much you love them. This blush is like cute, but I'm still not getting why everybody's obsessed. Both movies are perfect and I wouldn't change a single thing about either of them, but part two kind of just made the story bigger. It just feels like they accomplished even more with the art and animation in this one. Just as I suspected, the blush is cute and nothing more. Okay, let's move on to brows. I have the Maybelline 36 Hour Wear Tattoo Studio Brow Styling Gel. They do so many different art styles in this movie. Some of them are things I feel like I've never even seen before. It just feels like the people who made this movie were just allowed to work without any sort of limits. Like there's no creative limits in this movie. They tried anything and everything and it all worked together so well. They make the emotions visual in every sense of the word and you can just feel the love and the passion that went into making this movie. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just crazy. It's such a cool thing to see. The voice acting is still great. I feel like this is one of those perfectly casted movies. Everybody's voice just fits their character so well. We have a visitor. 
I don't know if I like this brow gel. I feel like I want to like it, but the spoolie picks up way too much product and the product is a little gloopy. Like it feels too thick in my brow. I can feel it in there. This movie is around two hours and 20 minutes long, but it didn't feel like it at all. I was invested the entire time. Not only because the story is, oh my God, has my water bottle been here the whole fucking time? Why didn't you tell me? Not only because the story is amazing, but because there are so many cool little details, you don't want to miss anything. You can't look away. I just realized I'm not even wearing mascara. Hold, please. I don't have a new mascara to test out, so I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Lash and Roll. I love this mascara. Very good, and I think it's like $6. Let's move on to lips before I forget that too. I have a new shade of the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This formula is not new to me. I already know it and I love it, but they just dropped a bunch of summer colors and I could not resist this red orange. I think this gloss is pretty sheer, so I'm gonna add a bit of red lip liner. This is the KKW Beauty Red 2 Lip Liner. I don't even think that matters because I'm pretty sure you can't buy these anymore. Anyway. Back to this movie, I already pre-ordered a physical copy because I cannot wait to just pause a million times and take in every single frame. Oh yeah, I love this. It's going in my bagu. Please go see it. Even if you're not into superhero stuff, I just think there's so much to take away from this movie. My last new product is this new setting spray from Beauty Blender. This is the Boost 4-in-1 Firming Peptide Setting Spray. This had really good reviews. I'm very excited to test this out. It's supposed to set makeup for 18 hours, visibly plump skin and blur pores, and reduce shine. Ooh. Ooh, it's actually misty. I hate when the spray is like too forceful. Okay, I really love how that setting spray melted everything together. This was a pretty successful haul of products. I was not expecting all of these to work together so well. I feel like that never happens. The only things I'm not really vibing with are that Maybelline brow product, too gloopy, too difficult to apply, and that Dior blush is way overpriced for what it is. Like you can get this blush anywhere for way cheaper. Oh, I forgot a product. I didn't apply my e.l.f. glow wand, the highlighter one. I'm just gonna put some on the tip of my nose. That's pretty much where I focus my highlighter anyway. I don't feel like this is a fair test. We might have to do a separate video testing all of the e.l.f. wands together. Ooh, okay, yeah. I think I really like that. It looks really natural. I thought it was gonna be a lot more metallic looking, but I'm glad it's not. Okay, now that's it. Now we're done. I have no more products lying around. We're finished. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and just letting me ramble about all of the stuff going on in my life right now. Chatting with you guys and just playing with makeup makes me really, really happy. I love doing it. Please leave me a comment below letting me know what you wanna see next from me. I think that I'm ready to try some movie or Sims content. I think it's time to mix things up. Thank you guys so, so much for watching me, for supporting me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.